Buckle up, folks, because you're about to hear the wildest conversation you've ever had the misfortune, or pleasure, depending on your taste for the bizarre, of eavesdropping on. We're talking radio communications between air traffic control and, get this, the suspected plane thief himself. Some guy named Damien Zukaitis swiped a little plane from North Las Vegas Airport on December 30th, 2023, took it for a joyride, and crash-landed in the desert near Barstow. Turns out he wasn't exactly flying first class. The cops found a half-smoked joint and a whole lot of empty beer cans in the cockpit. The craziest part? The Air Force had to call the plane's owner to ask if it crash-landed because of their fancy emergency beacon going off. Talk about embarrassing. Jose Tower, uh, Kitbox 336 Kilo Juliet would like to depart to the uh, 240. Kitbox 6 Kilo Juliet, your right turnout was approved, 240 on the go. 240 on approved, thank you. Kitbox 6 Kilo Juliet, contact uh, Las Vegas Park 135, or 139.5. 139.5, and Happy New Year to you. That's 133.95, 3395. Uh, 3395, uh, Kitbox, thank you. Kitbox 336 Kilo Juliet. Say again, my call, friend. Uh, Kitbox uh, 336 Kilo Juliet. You should verify the call, friend. 366 Kilo Juliet. Yes, sir. 366 Kilo Juliet, Las Vegas, pro, or approach ID. Number 6 Kilo Juliet, right of contact, 5 miles west, northwest of Lenora, the uh, Las Vegas airport. Yeah, center 299 at 4th South Street. Uh, up to 5,600. Just kill right. And it's probably present heading next to Bravo. Roger that. Heading I need is uh, about 240. Would that work? Just because you that's pretty best question. And I uh, understand you're climbing 6,500. Uh, yeah, I'd go 65. Just kill right. I'll see your discretion and uh, 240 heading to Bruce. All right, 240. Thank you, sir. 240 Kilo Juliet, Las Vegas. Bravo Airspace now. For now, fighting 240, maintain uh, 6,500. 240 and uh, 6,500 approved for the class Bravo Airspace. Hi, Kitbox uh, 336 Kilo Juliet. There's some precipitation in front of me. I'd like to go maybe 210 for a minute if that works. Number 6 Kilo Juliet, move for the left and a 190 zero heading. Uh, Roger that. Number 336 Kilo Juliet, I'll have a uh, Phone number for you to call whenever you uh, can copy it down. All right, I'm ready. Number 366 Kilo Juliet. Uh, we'll follow the deviation. I advise you contact Las Vegas approach 4432. 6 Kilo Juliet, be back correct. All right, thank you, sir. Number 6 Kilo Juliet, contact Las Vegas approach now on 125.9. 125.9. Good luck, this is Juliet. Kitbox 336 Kilo Juliet at uh, 6,500 with you. Number 366 Kilo Juliet, Law Space Pro Charger. Number 6 Kilo Juliet, turn right heading 180. November 366 Kilo Juliet, flat heading 180. Number 366 Kilo Juliet, radio chat. Uh, sorry, my headset went down. Uh, 180 on the heading. All right, thanks. There's 6 Kilo Juliet, resume on navigation. There's 6 Kilo Juliet, resume on navigation. Uh, 362, uh, resume on navigation. There's 366 Kilo Juliet, change to my frequency 125.47. 125.47. Uh, 36 Kilo Juliet. Cops nabbed Zukaitis, and now he's facing a mountain of charges. Stealing a plane, taking it across state lines with beer, and probably some stuff he did back in Idaho, too. Turns out, stealing planes isn't exactly a smooth career move. This whole thing has the pilots freaked out. Like, rightfully so. Several planes got broken into in the days leading up to the Grand Theft aircraft, and nobody's feeling too secure about leaving their wings at the North Las Vegas airport anymore. They're begging for more cameras, guards, anything to keep their rides safe. Even a fancy lawyer who keeps his planes there is pushing for a meeting with the airport people to figure out how to tighten things up. Seems everyone's on the same page. Nobody wants their plane to be the next party in the desert. So yeah, that's the story of the dude who stole a plane, filled it with beer and weed, and ended up face down in the Mojave. Not exactly the Vegas vacation most people dream of. Bonus gossip. 
The plane even had a binder open to a page with instructions on how to land at a different airport in California. Looks like Zukaitis had a backup plan, but maybe next time he should pick up a travel brochure instead.